matchup of striker versus grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And he's out. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nermago Meta. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Big call for land. Now we get back to range. That's a big elbow there. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. How good is that right hand? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponents. Oh, wow, oh! He's a tough arm bar now. And he's out. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. Lock. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man in the previous round? He's so well versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. Now was on full display as he defended a real deep submission attempt. Nervago Medov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. All right, side control now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Now. And he's out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. 
Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Under two minutes to go. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When is it? Not tapping out tonight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. He lands flush with that right hand. All working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound binder, Mago Meadow. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. And that's the end of round number two. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. You ready, to fight? You ready. Third round underway. fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over it. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag armbar here. All right, so he postures up. Nicely done. Back mount now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. try to get the finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Stop. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, that right eye's looking pretty swollen now. Might be shut before too long. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beaten. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that ends the fight. Now he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. A triangle, a triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch this. He goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And this might just be a matter of time. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking to do? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Close guards. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Mbago Meta.
right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out.